The most exciting part of the many features introduced to GPT-4 is that the model now accepts images as input. OpenAI has been trying to integrate images into users' inputs for a while now. Still, it didn't make it into the earlier models, so it is a pretty big deal. In this video, we will talk about the new image input feature in GPT-4. You'll discover what you can do with this new upgrade and how to use it. GPT-4 is a language model that has been trained to understand images. It can read text from handwritten notes or screenshots and take visual cues from photographs, memes and illustrations to give context and return appropriate answers to a user's queries. OpenAI is really pushing for the GPT-4 image upgrade so users can broaden the scope of their requests by adding images to the mix. Before we start digging in, it is essential to clarify that GPT-4 is a text generator, not an image generator. Although the recent enhancement allows you to add images alongside text instructions for input into the model, it doesn't generate pictures. Suppose you're trying to turn text prompts into images. In that case, you're looking for image generative AI models like Dream Studio, Midjourney and DALL-E 2. They process text inputs and give image results based on the user's description. GPT-4 can process all forms of input images like sketches, screenshots, texts, photographs, and microscopic images. In short, GPT reads anything as long as it is an image. GPT-4 with images can recognize any computer screen, user interface, or combination of the two. You can send GPT a screenshot of your LinkedIn profile, and it will be able to tell what platform you're on and what is currently happening on the screen. Develop a contextual understanding of any image. GPT-4 has a good sense of humor. That's right, it has the cognitive capabilities to understand the subtle jokes in memes, which is interesting, given that I sometimes don't even get them. So the next time you come across an Elon Musk meme on Twitter that you don't understand, you know what to do. Besides seeing and understanding what it is looking at, the AI model can also give you reasonable suggestions based on what it has received. For example, let's say you're a vegan trying to bulk up, and you see a recommended high-protein meal online for muscle gain, but it has a lot of meat. You can send the picture to ChatGPT and ask for an alternative vegan recipe with the same protein value. Right now, OpenAI is collaborating with Be My Eyes to stretch the ability of GPT-4 with images to help the visually disabled. They are working on an app called Be My Eyes Virtual Volunteer that can give blind people the visual aid they need to navigate their surroundings and carry out everyday tasks. And from OpenAI's live demo on the 14th of March 2023, you'll be blown away by what this machine is capable of. In fact, GPT-4 images capabilities are so far-reaching that even the creators are still trying to figure out what is actually possible. Although OpenAI demonstrated the GPT-4 with images on a live stream in March, they have not broadly rolled out this feature. Only developers could try the video out using the GPT-4 API when they made it. One of the primary objectives of the live stream was to show AI developers how to use the feature. It is yet to be available to regular ChatGPT users. That said, the availability of the GPT-4 API still needs to be expanded and developers have to join a waitlist before they can access it. To use the API, you have to enter two different kinds of inputs. System messages. One input called the system message is a text prompt where you instruct the model to attack the question and deliver the results. In other words, the system message prompt determines the identity of the AI model. The developer uses this prompt to tell the model what it should and shouldn't answer. In the OpenAI livestream, the presenter used simple instructions like take the user's instructions carefully and more advanced messages to give the AI model detailed explanations and a step-by-step -step answer breakdown. The model was designed to be highly steerable, which means it can take any shape you desire. The more you use the system message prompt, the better the model gets at answering your questions precisely the way you want user messages. Here, you ask the model questions like a regular user on ChatGPT. The model will always prioritize the instructions fed by the developer in the system message panel over a user's request. It will only accept answers that go against the instructions provided by the developer on the system message prompt. For more information on how to use GPT-4 with images as a developer, follow the link to the live stream provided below. On the 22nd of June, a few months after the OpenAI developer stream, Microsoft launched a Bing Chat upgrade that allows the chatbot to accept images as input. However, it also was not a full launch. Only a limited number of users got the picture-supported chatbot. At first, 
Microsoft only gave as little as 2% of Bing Chat users access to the image-equipped version. You bet I checked immediately, only to find out that I was in the unlucky 98%. Fortunately for me, in the following weeks, Microsoft apparently rotated access between 10% to 20% of users because it's the fair thing to do, giving me the chance to try it out. Wouldn't you like to try it out too? Here's how to use it. It's simple. Launch your Microsoft Edge browser and open Bing Chat. You should see a tiny camera icon on the right side of the message input box. If you don't have the camera icon in yours, then you don't have access. You'll have to wait your turn. Check again tomorrow, and hopefully it will be unlocked. But if you have the tiny camera icon, congrats! Click the icon to upload an image from your computer or paste its URL. There you go. Now you add images to your Bing Chat queries. Now you're probably wondering why OpenAI won't just make the feature available to everybody. The thing is, this kind of experimental technology needs a lot of testing, debugging, and ethical checks. For example, when presented with capture text, which is supposed to be characters distorted in a way computers can read them, GPT-4 still interprets the text. This is a breach of the ethical use of AI and inconsistencies like this have to be smoothened before it is completely rolled out. In the live demo, the CEO of OpenAI, Greg Brockman, showed us what's better about the new GPT-4 model versus GPT-3.5. While GPT-4 flexed on the older models throughout the video in creative tasks like summarizing text and writing code, I was more excited about seeing the model handle tasks with images. And so were the millions of people watching the video. I know because of the spikes in the Heatseeker at that part of the video where Greg talked about image inputs in GPT-4. The first demonstration shows the model's ability to give detailed descriptions of images. Greg took a screenshot of Discord and asked GPT-4 to describe the picture. The text generator could tell that the picture was a screenshot from Discord and described the texts and other elements included in the picture. You can watch the full video for further examples of what GPT-4 can do with images. As expected, people started having fun with the improved Bing chat bot. Besides the OpenAI CEO's presentation, I've come across some excited users who shared their experiences online. One Reddit user tested Bing chat's image recognition by uploading a picture of a computer mouse and asking it to decipher the brand. The AI model could tell the mouse's brand by reading the text on its body. Other users have given the AI model more complex tasks, like this Twitter user who prompted Bing Chat to explain what was funny about a meme. In this case, the AI doesn't just read the images in the photo, but also has a contextual understanding of the joke presented by the meme. There is so much potential in AI image recognition technology. Imagine AI helping investigators solve crimes. An AI model accepting image inputs could help detectives scrape evidence for clues. In medicine, image-enabled AI technology could help doctors inspect microscopic images to detect disease, examine viruses, and who knows what else. These are just a couple of examples. Imagine the possibilities. As for when we should be expecting the upgrade to reflect on ChatGPT, OpenAI hasn't mentioned any specific dates yet, but we hope it's sooner than later because we all can't wait to try out this feature. For more on the expanding world of artificial intelligence, smash that subscribe button.